Today, I'm going to highlight the differences between Chinese and Western healing methods. I'm going to give you many illustrations. This is just part one of the presentation. There will be a part two. The first illustration I want to give is about the flu. Uh, we can also call it a cold. Uh, if you have a flu, you have many associated uh, symptoms. Fever is one of them, cough, and phlegm and exam pains, all kinds. Uh, in the Chinese viewpoint, uh, the flu is a seasonal thing, is a recurrent thing, is a minor problem. All you need is rest and drink a lot of water. There are herbs, of course, to reduce the discomforts. And the herbs are also used to expel the fever, the phlegm, to moisten the throat so that the cough will not be that uh, serious. Besides, we also use the herbs to quicken the recovery. That is, we use herbs to strengthen the lungs. So this is the Chinese method. Uh, we also emphasize on prevention. That is, we have to wear appropriate clothing so that uh, we don't catch the flu that easily because flu is usually caught when there is a sudden weather change. You catch a cold. And also, you have to beware of the contagion factor. If you stay very close to the people who are having a flu, chances are you will get it. Here is the Western method. Uh, the Western method to uh, battle the flu uh, are a bunch of pills to suppress the fever, suppress the cough, and to clear the congestion. Antibiotics are commonly prescribed for the flu. It's meant to kill the germs. However, since the flu is not a severe illness, it may not be necessary to use antibiotics. Because if you use the antibiotics, it's going to reduce your own defense mechanism within the body. As far as prevention goes, uh, Western methods use flu shots. Again, it may not be necessary if your body is strong enough. Flu shots are best for senior citizens whose body is very weak. Now, the next one is joint pains. The Chinese uh, healing method emphasizes two things, overexertion and overexposure. If you have overexertion, that means you need plenty of rest. If you are overexposed, that means you don't wear enough clothes so that your clothing will prevent you from exposure to the elements of wind, cold, and humidity. As far as the pain is concerned, Chinese herbs are used to improve the blood circulation. When the blood circulation is better, your pains will be reduced. And Chinese herbs are also used to strengthen your bones, tendons, and muscles. As far as the Western method is concerned, there are lots of pills, different kinds, to kill the pain. And when the bones and arthritis gets to be too severe, they will recommend surgery to uh, replace the joints. The next illustration is nasal allergy. The Chinese method believes that nasal allergy is due to your respiratory system being too sensitive to foreign materials in the air. You can prove this by observing that within a family, not all members have the same kind of nasal allergy. Some of them may not even have it. So it must be due to the patient's uh, res respiratory system being too sensitive or too weak. So it's not the environment that is the problem, it's the person that is the problem. There are herbs used, of course, to strengthen the respiratory system, especially the lungs. The Western method, we can see that uh, they usually make a list 
of all the causes for your nasal allergy. That includes uh, pollen, dust, pet's hair, etc. Anything that can be present in the environment. Uh, we can also see that there is no attention being paid on strengthening the respiratory system of the patient. Now we come to cancer. About 200 years ago, cancer was still a mystery. Nobody in China or in the West knew what cancer was. In China, the Chinese still depend on ancient method. They still depend on the herbs for two purposes. One is to cleanse all the poison inside your body. The other is to strengthen your body organs. This is the basic method used to combat cancer. The Western method is uh, quite different because we have seen many new developments in technology like radiation, chemotherapy, and surgery. And these are useful for emergency cases and cancer is usually a serious and emergency case. Uh, however, when you use uh, these uh, very strong methods in the West, you put the body under great stress and usually it weakens the body. In that case, Chinese medicine can be employed to slowly and gradually bring the body back to health. Now we come to digestive disorder. The Chinese viewpoint is that uh, this uh, digestive disorder is mainly due to your system being too sensitive to many different kinds of food. And uh, this sensitivity brings you many, many symptoms. And naturally, the herbs are being used to make your digestive system more robust. And when the system is more robust, you are able to adapt to or absorb many different kinds of uh, food. And then you, the symptoms will gradually reduce. Now, uh, the Western method is quite different. There's a tendency to treat all the symptoms in an isolated manner. For example, they will treat the exit reflux in an isolated manner, gas isolated manner, indigestion, and many others. Furthermore, a restricted diet is commonly prescribed. That means the patient is encouraged to restrict his diet. In this way, you will make the digestive system more sensitive. And if you continue to do this, it's very hard for your digestive system to recover. You have to make it more robust rather than make it more sensitive. 